Okay, let me explain. Just, just calm down. Calm down. Don't cry. It's okay. I'm here. I'm alive. Just let me explain. I've been very sick the past week, and I'm finally recovering, so I'm, I'm feeling good. I'm not feeling too sick anymore, but um, I'm going to go ahead and start reviewing movies now. I swear to God, I got sick at the worst time. I'm supposed to be doing my uh, Christmas marathon thing, and um, I'm coughing and stuff, and it's just not good. So here I am. I have a lot of videos to make up for you guys, but um, yeah. Anyways, happy December 7th. I know it's not December 7th, but I'm going to say that anyways because that's when this video was supposed to be uploaded. So, happy December 7th, goddammit. Anyways, today I'll be reviewing a movie called Home for the Holidays, and it is a 1972 made-for-TV movie. It's a very simple, short film, and um, it's actually 73 minutes, so it's very short. Um, but again, it's a made-for-TV movies, and those are always really kind of short. But anyways, um... So yeah, basically the movie's about this guy, and he, um, his four daughters are trying to, or him and his four daughters are trying to kill his wife, who he suspects is poisoning him. And, um, in the meantime, there's, like, this killer in a raincoat who's killing off these people, and, um, you know, a bunch of crazy stuff goes on, and it's all happening during, uh, Christmas Eve. I think it's Christmas Eve. I'm not sure, but anyway, so yeah. They expect, like, the wife is killing all these people, so, and he thinks that she's, like, gonna poison him or something, so him or her four daughters, or his four daughters, are a little suspicious on, um, whether she's killing people or not, so, um, yeah. By the way, I might stutter a lot because I haven't made a video in a while, and I need to get used to this, so, um, yeah. But anyways, this is a pretty, uh, mediocre movie, you know, I just recently, uh, realized that it was, a. Uh, I believe an ABC movie, like, you know, the channel ABC, um, I think it's one of those movies, I may be mistaken, but you, you know, it's like one of those made-for-TV channel movies, um, and, uh, it's, it's really, it's just mediocre, there really is nothing, I'm not surprised you haven't heard about it, I don't think anybody's ever heard about this movie, who has seen this movie? If you've seen this movie, please let me know. But yeah, of course it's made-for-TV, so obviously there's no blood and guts, nothing like that, none of that good stuff. Um, you know, it's just a very old, like, really old, um, made-for-TV movie, and, um, I mean, yeah, that's all I could really say about it. I mean, this movie is not really one to go out and watch, um, because this really isn't that good. Like, again, it's made for TV, so, yeah. But, yeah, if you do, for some strange reason, decide to watch this movie because you're extremely bored and you have nothing else to watch, um, don't expect any blood and gore or anything like that. You're not going to find any of that in here besides that one guy who's wearing a raincoat and he's killing people with the pitchfork. I mean, that that's really like the, all the horror you're going to get in this movie. There really isn't nothing too scary. This It's not really anything. If anything, I'd call it actually like a, a thriller or a drama because there really isn't too much horror in here. But yeah, guys, overall, I'd probably give this film, I'll give it two Two Santa hats out of five. It, again, it's mediocre at its best. There really isn't anything much good about this movie. Um, if if it were good or bad, I'd say it's leaning more towards bad. Um, it just it's just it didn't very it didn't entertain me. Um, that's just me personally saying. But um, yeah, it didn't really entertain me. Didn't grasp my attention enough. So um, I didn't really enjoy this one, and I'll probably never ever watch it again in my life. Alright guys, thanks for watching this review. Stay tuned for my next review, which I should upload right about now. And I will see you guys later.